Mitsuru Senpai, why are you here? Same reason as you. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! I... I never thought it'd turn out like this! Fuka... Wait, you're that girl! What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Mitsuru. This isn't an interrogation. Matsuki, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. And then... I realized... She's an honor student, but... Deep inside, she's just the same as us. I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her that day, too. May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. What? You locked her in? That night, Maki returned to school alone. She was afraid we'd get in trouble if Fuka committed suicide. But... She never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying on the ground by the gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us went missing, and they each ended up like Maki. I see. By the way, Mr. Ikoda, all this time you've attributed Yamagishi's absences to illness. But in reality, she was missing. You must have been aware of that. What was your intention? I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. You mean you chose not to report this to the police for the good of the class? It... 
It was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agree. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. How despicable. I... I, I, I didn't. I... I was just... Uh... About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual before the incidents? Anything at all? They all heard a voice. A creepy voice. Right before each of them went missing. They said it was calling their name. Oh, man. Oh, senpai, could it be? It's them. No doubt about it. Until now, there was no way of knowing how or why some people are conscious during the dark hour. But it's the voice. It draws them in. It's not a random phenomenon. This whole thing has made me realize they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. It's the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave the room no matter what. If you can do that much, you should be okay. Don't worry, Yamagishi should be all right as well. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. T tonight We're going to rescue Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. All set. Tonight, we will infiltrate the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Um, I don't get it. Is Fuka inside the school somewhere? And why at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Then, ever since Fuka got locked in the gym, she's been stuck there? That was ten days ago. That means... Not necessarily. We can't jump to conclusions. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So what about the rest of the day? Now that you mention it... This is only a theory, but I think time may function differently with respect to Tartarus. So, even though it's been ten days for us, perhaps only ten hours have passed for her. It's possible she's still alive. Wow, you think so? Uh, but the dark hour is pretty brutal. We could barely handle an hour. How's she gonna last ten? That's true. And even if she's still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna let her die then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus exactly how Fuka did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That's the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? Honestly, I have reservations. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I won't stand by and do nothing if there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. If you guys don't want to go, then I'll go by myself. Senpai? All right. We're aware of the risks, but we can't just leave her there. I agree. And we won't know until we try. Cool. We get to sneak into the school. <laughs> In that case, I know just what to do.
What's wrong? I can't get a hold of the chairman. I guess we can handle it ourselves. There's one problem, though. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set to go. Set to go? An explosive? <laughs> all right. I'll let you handle this. We don't have time to waste. Let's go. An explosive? For real? Nah. All I did was unlock a door. See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is that really something to brag about? So you unlocked it earlier. Scrape, yeah? No time for compliments. Let's go. What's the big deal, anyway? Trey Ben, what's that mean? That's not English, is it? Uh, can we turn on the lights? Oh, you scared? No! Stupé. Stop calling me that! Quiet. It's better if we leave them off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. Akihiko and I will check the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway. Got it? The faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office too. It sounds interesting. Are you planning something unscrupulous under my supervision? If so, then expect to be severely punished. It was a joke! I'd never do something like that. <laughs> Come on, Mitsuru. Lighten up a little. Fine. Let's head over to the janitor's room. Iori, you're coming with us. Let's get this over with. here? Oh, it's just a security guard. I know! My cell phone? Why now? Oh, figures. It's spam. Ugh, sorry about that. It took me by surprise. Ugh, whatever.
No. No. It's so dark. I can barely read these. What does it say on this one? Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. Mind if we borrow this? Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet them in the main hallway. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream. It sounded kind of familiar. What? <laughs> you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to make something of it? Keep it down. We'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour has begun, I'll determine Yamagishi's position. I'll go. You should come too. You can take the lead, like always. Um, then I'll be the third. Wait a second. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Come on, it's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. Sweet, thanks. What's wrong, Yukari? You don't want to stay behind with Mitsuru? Um, no, it's fine. It's almost time. We still haven't heard back from them. The transceiver's sensitivity is set to high, too. Oh yeah, that girl, Natsuki? I hope she's okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't possibly bring her here, and one of us staying behind was out of the question. Yeah... I guess so. Hmm. But we're all here for Fuka's sake. This is Mitsuru. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Is he out of range? I'm starting to get worried. Are you awake? This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Don't worry, you'll see them soon. But 
we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. Okay then, I hope we can speak again. Hey, here he is. Man, we were worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh yeah, did you hear a voice while you were in here? Uh, kinda like... Who is this? Are you human? That's it! That's the voice! It sounded like it came from behind us. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Wow! You're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, June Pei's here! I'm glad you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Looks like we made the right decision. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. at school, and then... Well, it's a long story. I'll explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? <sighs> no good. All I hear is static. Oh yeah, are, are you hurt? Have you uh, run into any monsters? So there are strange creatures in here then. I've managed to avoid them so far. Are you serious? How's that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you psychic? She has the same power as Mitsuru. Maybe even stronger. Since Mitsuru's persona is more battle-oriented. Hang on to this. <gasps> but... but this is... Think of it as a lucky charm. It's not really a gun. Alright, let's get out of here. Whoa! Check out the moon! I've never seen it so bright. Some research indicates that the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. Of course, the same can be said for humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Was it? I think so. Why? 
Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked, back in April? Mitsuru, are you there? Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful! Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is this thing? It's much bigger than the others, and it's attacking someone! Damn it! What's going on? It's one of them! If my guess is right, they come every full moon! We have to hurry! Hey, hey! Wait for me! What in the world? There's two of them! Mitsuru! Uh, uh. What's going on? Nothing's working! Oh shit! They look pissed! Hey! Isn't that... Why the hell is she here? F fuka More Yama-san! Wait! What are you doing? Please, get out of here! It's dangerous! I... I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. <gasps> Wait! That's not a weapon! I know! Mitsuru! I'm all right. Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. And all of our instruments have been destroyed. Just stay still. Besides... I can see. Is that the voice? I... I can sense these monsters' weaknesses somehow. For real? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take your place. I get it now. Yamagishi, can you assist the others? I'll, I'll do, do my, my best. best! Stay back, Mitsuru. We'll take care of this. Find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. Nice 
getting weaker. This. Well, I guess that's one way to go. For this. Well, I guess that's one way to go. Careful! The enemy's going to attack! <laughs> the enemy is down! Now's your chance! I've been waiting for this! Well, I guess that's one way to go. I guess that's one way to go. Don't worry, it's over. Fuka, you... Are you alright? Yeah. Thank goodness. Fuka? It's alright, she's just exhausted. Fuka? Fuka, I... Where did these two shadows come from? From somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like before. I see. Um, what are we gonna do about Natsuki? She saw the Dark Hour and the shadows. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. She should be safe from now on. But that means she'll forget Fuka saved her life, right? That doesn't seem fair. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. I think she's learned her lesson.
Oh, hey! 